Hey, Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. Uh, wanted to show you guys something pretty slick, and we've been working on a lot of projects in the last couple of weeks, and they just happened to all be getting done almost at the same time here. And in our Premier Workflows, we've added in this uh, multi-stage uh, air conditioning, heat pump, or cooling. And so this is a really slick workflow. It allows us to do a lot of things here. I'm gonna select a uh, number of stages as two, and we're just gonna use COD data. I've got a, a project I already have uh, set up here. In fact, you know what, let me do this. Let me go back. I'm actually gonna just, um, we'll do this again here. We'll do two, and I'm gonna start this project blank, and we'll just unlock it. So you can sort of see the whole, the whole process here. And I'm gonna sort of skip ahead. I mean, you guys know how the project, the job site works. I'm gonna go right into the system profile, and uh, we'll start there. So this allows us, you know, we already have it set up here for two stages and we can, you know, switch it anywhere we want there and then allows us for variable or fixed airflow. Right now, it's on a fixed airflow. And that means that if we had a three ton system, it'd be, it'd be doing 1200 CFM, right? If it was two stages and it was like a ton and a half and ton and a half total three ton, it would always be doing a three ton of airflow. That's real typical for rooftop units. Now at my house, I've got a two stage unit, but it's got variable airflow. So it's got a... Uh, lower airflow on first stage than it does on second stage and we'll just profile it like it's my house so it'd be a variable airflow system my first stage is a two ton and then uh i've got a target uh, sub cooling here of um of 18 degrees on my on my system and then half an inch of total external static txv uh, and then we can go ahead and uh, we'll hit uh, submit for this one so hit the check mark now i'm going to go in actually i'm going to switch stages here and now automatically it carries it over, assuming you're gonna be a, a two by two, but I'm gonna make this a two by one because that's what I have. You'll notice that, that this went down now, total active tonnage is three. So when I'm on second stage, I'm gonna take my, my two tons on first stage and add in my one ton, total tonnage of three tons. It's gonna carry over my, uh, my, my target subcooling, which I can change it if I have a, a separate uh, subcooling, like maybe it's, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, 16 degrees or, or so on uh, second stage, I can carry that across there. And then I'll just hit the submit key and carry that across. Now, I'm gonna go to home here and you'll see I've got a stage one and stage two. And so if we look at the uh, target airflow on stage two, I'm at 1200, stage one, I'm at 100, 800. So that uses our uh, standard airflow until the estimated airflow calculation gets going on there. I'm gonna dump some some demo data in here. I don't know if that's gonna mess things up a little bit here, but we'll see here. And so based off the demo data right now, it's moving 735 standard CFM. If I go to stage two, it's moving 1100 CFM. And that's based off the target temp split for this. So what this is doing now is allowing us to, to swap between stages and um, you know get all of our electrical data, things like that. So in our project here, we'll just go into the, into the uh, we'll hit submit here and let me go into the measurements section here. In the measurement section now, you, it tells you what stage is active and whether or not it's benchmarked. We move the benchmark button down here so it's a lot easier to uh, to work with and then you got a, a view home screen or you can go back in the project and, and save the data. Um, it holds in your outdoor, indoor and outdoor data on your probe so you know if you move those around, if you move the probes to the second stage or you just switch the unit to second stage, you don't have to move them but it does clear your electrical measurements out for each stage independently. So I want to make my electrical measurements and we'll just say, you know, I'm going to go with, with um, I'm just going to go with power with both of these here. We'll just say it's 234 and I don't know, 1090. Uh, let me tap that again here. Uh, 1090 and then I'll hit submit. So that, that would be my first stage and I'd save that data and then I'd go, I'll hit dismiss here, go back into measurements and when I go to my second stage, you're going to see my electricals cleared out because now it's expecting a new set of electrical readings. Then I just move over my outdoor and indoor probes and get my second stage on there. And uh, uh, that would, uh, again, tell us what's going on there. That little error is just a, a background error, nothing to worry about. I actually have uh, in my toolbox, I have a, uh, some error logging going on here, which I can, I can shut off. We use for debugging the programming. But uh, that, that is going to allow you to, to basically uh, benchmark first stage, benchmark second stage, store the benchmarks independently. We did some other really slick stuff here. When you profile the system, you know, let's say that this is a, a um, let's say it's a, an actual two-stage system, like a rooftop unit with two independent circuits, right? And I can have this set up so that I can have a R22 in one circuit, 
and I can switch, oops, go back here. I can switch stage and I can have uh, blue on in the other circuit, right? So I'll hit dismiss there. And so now when I hit submit here, stage one is blue on, stage two is 22. You could have different refrigerants in each stage. And again, it'll store that data in the cloud. So you know, you know what refrigerants on what stage, it'll calculate the superheat, subcoolings, everything else that you need uh, automatically. I still have the demo data in here. And that's why it's kicking those numbers uh, up so high in there. But it allows you to, to have um, completely independent benchmarks for up to four stages. Uh, allows you to have different refrigerants for each stages, different airflows for each stage on there, variable airflow, fixed airflow, a lot of configurability for this. It, it's going to make an awesome improvement, and uh, I think you guys will really like it. So if you've got any questions or comments, uh, let us know, but uh, this will be rolling out here shortly, and you guys will probably see it update over the weekend. All right.